You. They called you their boss, didn't they? I really am the Shepherd. I know you won't believe me, but it's true. Real or fake, it doesn't matter a bit. Stand strong! May your soul- I can feel someone's blessed domain. Wh what? Eat this! Echo shot! Take this! Right and You mean she has a level of resonance on par with the Shepherds? She does? But she can't even see us. Let's save the chat for later. This girl is strong. I can tell! Echo shot! Rock winner! This is pretty tough! Saray, let's flee! Rising hands! Eat this! Be gone! You can't just swing your sword around and win. What about swinging an umbrella around? Do you know of him? He lives the life of a vagabond. I heard he had taken a liking to a particularly fearsome band of traveling mercenaries. Why is he with the assassins? I suppose something happened to the mercenaries. There must be a story behind it. You don't just join up with a bunch of assassins for no reason. I'm surprised he hasn't become a Hellion by now, hooking up with an assassin's guild. There was no malevolence at all coming from that assassin. No way. No malevolence will fester among those who are pure and clean of heart. That assassin was exactly like you, Saray. A pure and clean of heart assassin? Really? They make those? Apparently. What's wrong? So... It doesn't matter if I'm real or fake, huh? Then I guess this is what you meant by me taking on the burden of the Shepherd. Yep. Don't fool yourself. Humans don't think for a moment about how you feel. But what do you expect? They're humans. She's right, I'm afraid. You'll have to learn to deal with it. Well, good thing you're pretty tough to begin with. <laughs> I wish. Still don't think you can help us out? The Shepherd can command the Seraphim at will, isn't that right? Do whatever you want. No, you're not a tool for me to use. If you really don't want to help, I'll find some other way. I see. You like to guilt trip a girl into making the first move. What? Saray, maintain your purity! I knew she was messed up, but... Man, if you guys aren't the dullest crew of fuddy-duddies ever assembled... I was going to help you from the get-go anyway. <sighs> You're welcome. <sighs> Thanks a million. Saray, can I ask you something? Sure, what's up? You're being targeted by assassins, right? <sighs> Sure looks like it. Did you cause someone to have a grudge with you? Like that unmalevolent assassin? Hmm... Not that I can recall. So you have no recollection of it, but somehow you are targeted by an unmalevolent assassin who has a Seraph dwelling in them? Well, I mean... I think it's just because I'm the Shepherd. Because you're the Shepherd, huh? 
so you are somehow targeted by an assassin who somehow isn't affected by malevolence, which somehow possessed a seraph which didn't turn into a hellion. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, I'm glad you understand. So, basically you're totally clueless here. Pretty much. Lord Saray, it is a pleasure to see you again. Likewise, how are things looking? Well, there's still no telling when the bridge will be repaired. All right, then I'll make it so that the bridge can be fixed. What exactly does that entail? Uh, forgive me, but I'm a bit confused, Lord Saray. In any case, I shall summon Lady Alicia. Please, wait here a moment. Wait a minute. You're going to do this right away? Yeah. I want to cheer them up as soon as possible. But... Don't you know what humans will think about you if you demonstrate power that transcends their simple understanding? I do indeed. Huh. Well, okay. Suit yourself. Maybe you like being treated like a monster. Hmm. <laughs> it's your call. I won't stop you. But think carefully about who stands to lose the most from what they're warning you about. Right. Changed your mind, I take it? Yeah. Better we do it late at night after everyone's gone to bed. Okay. Fine by me. Sorry. I know everyone was worried about me. I probably just wasn't thinking. You tend to take too much on by yourself. Yeah. I'll watch out. Oh, Saray, you're back. Hey! Lord Soray, what exactly is it you intend to do? Well, I... Uh... Alicia, we decided it wouldn't be good for Soray to draw too much attention here. We're waiting till midnight. So... Well, the sun has already set. Why don't we handle this first thing tomorrow? Oh! A fine idea. Very well. Then we'll see you tomorrow. Incidentally, Naif, regarding the transport of your goods to Marland... Oh, oh yes. Of course. You're the best, Alicia. Now then, let us wait until midnight. Okay, here goes! My word! Naif! 
I can scarcely believe what I'm seeing. So this is the shepherd's power. Mr. Knave, I can explain. This means Marland is saved! Oh, joyous day! Thank you. Oh, thank you so much! Three cheers for the Shepherd! You, you don't have to thank me. Lord Soray, you intend to head out right away, don't you? In order to avoid prying eyes. Yeah, we're going to go to Marlin from here. I suspected as much. Then, if you may, please escort Lady Alicia with you as well. Mr. Knave? Lady Alicia, I know your position is a difficult one, but your duty in Marland is all too crucial. Please go at once, and demonstrate your famed ability and sincerity. So, you knew? I may be stuck here for now, but if you two are in Marland, then I will know I can rest easy. Please, attend to your duties, and leave the bridge to me. Understood. I'm sorry, Mr. Knave. You have my thanks. I shall make sure the bridge is even better than before, milady. So there are those who understand. Yes. <laughs> this is the happiest I've been in a while. Crying, I'll puke. Knave, might we take some medicine from you? Can I ask such a thing after all you've done? Yeah. Thank you. I am in your debt once more. I think we'll be off now. Thanks for all your help, Nath. Oh, Poppycock. It is I who should be thanking you. Let's go, Alicia. Will I really be able to cross the river with you? Of course, if it's just you. You've already made the Squire's Pact. Mr. Nath, thank you for being so understanding. We shall meet again. Lord Soray, thank you so much. Lady Alicia, I leave matters in Marlin to your capable hands. Incredible. I suppose even a raging river is no trouble for a shepherd. But you should still avoid using your powers in front of other people. Yeah, you're probably right. She is. If Earth Dwellers are there to freak out every time like this one does, I may slip my wrists. Seraphedna, I deeply regret my transgression. Yeah, you ought to. And we're already on a first name basis even though we just met. You're awfully rude, you know that? Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. The Nor- What now? You don't know it? How disrespectful. Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. Edna, don't infinite loop the squire. Lila, you understand that Edna is toying with Alicia, don't you? Do something. Sorry, I just thought, maybe if they had a chance to talk together, they might, you know, become friends. Alicia, this is just how Edna is. You can't take anything she says seriously. Spoken like a true Mebo. What's a Mebo? You don't know? Then do that. Okay, enough.
be mine. Be gone. Ah. All right. Well done. It's over. Strike. It's over. I must How try Sorry's capabilities as a shepherd. Well, I think he's quite talented. I think you're kind of overrating him. And his friendship with you makes it all the better. I think you're definitely overrating that. Looks like there's something nearby. Is this a shrine to Seraphim? Yes. It used to be a vessel of some sort. Used to be, huh? Long ago, there were many minor shrines like these for spreading the blessings of the Seraphim. Indeed. It used to be there were throngs of people offering prayers. The numbers might have dropped some, but there's definitely still people who pray to the Seraphim. Oh yeah, like, remember the shrine at Edna's Mountain? Someone left flowers there, right? That was me. Huh? That shrine is a stand-in for a grave. A grave for all the humans my brothers killed. Oh. I didn't know. I don't need any sympathy. It's the humans' own fault anyway. You hear about a dragon, you wander over to check it out, you get gobbled up. Simple as that. Protected. I concur. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Shall we begin? 
It's a marmot. It's quick with its attack. It'd be best to use hidden arts. This is nothing. I finished all the preparation. <sighs> Is this because of the epidemic? I take it that you're not good around dogs. Not particularly. Miklio's just worried about claws and effect. What? I can now. Ready? Ready? Let's get him! Really? Definitely weird. You're also really... Not weird. A Hellion right here in town? Of course. Look how full of malevolence this place is. And that just now was a dog Hellion, wasn't it? Right. That was a hellhound. The pathogen itself has assumed hellion form. Hmm. The plague itself? Let's hurry to the sanctuary and deliver the medicine. Here they are. Is that a monolith?
Lady Alicia, you made it safely. I've brought medicine. What's happening? We can do not to stop the infection. The disease has spread to our ranks. We cannot even exterminate the wild dogs. At this rate, the entire kingdom may very well succumb to its ravages. By the stars. First, please distribute the medicine. Right away. Things will be okay. They've got resources now. Yes. And we can help dispatch the Hellhounds. And yet, I suspect that they are not the true source of this epidemic. A stronger Hellion, born of powerful malevolence. Dragon! No, it's just a Hellion. You can tell because the humans don't see it. It's landing over there! Don't tell me you're gonna fight it. It looks like a dragon to me. We don't know that for sure. You can tell me if it gets too dangerous. Wonderful. And I wind up with all the responsibility as usual. That Hellion is called a Drake. It's a younger form of dragon. It looks like the city's malevolence is energizing it somehow. Then we have to kill it while we still have time. Wait! Don't, Alicia! Hold on! Look oh, out! crap! <sighs> that was close. Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. Huh. Again? Well, we gotta do something. Edna, you said that the malevolence in the city is energizing that thing, right? Probably. Then we should focus on purifying the malevolence. Indeed. I expect that would naturally weaken the drake. Although it sounds like a huge hassle. Well, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette. The plan sounds good enough to me. Though your choice of metaphor less so. Even if we do manage to weaken it, we can't fight it if we can't bring it down. We'll find a way to accomplish that too. With everyone's help. Hassle times two. Slow and steady wins the race, Edna. Oh, yes. I prefer that metaphor to the one where we're eggs that go splat. Time to begin operations slow and steady. Shall I help you carry those? No, I'm just fine. A history of Monmouth culture and the works of Sir Geoffrey! Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing them. These are valuable books. 
I'm hiding them away so they don't get lost or destroyed in the war. Oh, then all the more reason I should be help- It's fine. It's a classified location. Don't tell anyone about this. It's to protect the books. Something's up. You think so? Don't you? She was all excuses and we didn't even say anything. I certainly never heard of any such secret library. So this is Marland. It is a city rich in history, is it not? I believe even the Celestial Record mentioned it. Yeah, I always wanted to visit. Marland, the city of knowledge nestled amongst the holy trees. Their shining branches are as a beacon unto the fruit of knowledge and the flower of aesthetics. There walks this continent no true scholar, no true artist who did not once frolic in its sylvan depths. Well, the fruit looks pretty rotten right now, if you ask me. Pretty sure no one did. Even so, she's right. Maybe so. But flowers will always bloom again in springtime, and bear their fruit in autumn. Indeed, the cycle will never end so long as there remains passion for knowledge and beauty. Right? Very true. History has proven as such. I think you have flowers in your head or something. Don't you like flowers, Edna? I mean, they're fine. The pretty ones, at least. I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kinda funny to bury books in a graveyard. I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. Alright. Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. 
Who's there? You're... So you lied to us about protecting the books? It was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Malevolence! We're taking these back. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew. Someday this was bound to happen. The malevolence is fading. I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Nafe for me? <sighs> Catching her quelled the malevolence? That's probably what she wanted deep down, to be brought to justice. Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore. can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. We going in? So, are you scared of ghosts too? Would you like me to hold your hand? It's not like that! You understand, don't you, Saray? I'm sensing a huge domain. There's definitely a strong hellion here. It could be hiding anywhere in the museum. We better canvas the entire area. See what I did there? Canvas is a fabric used as a painting service and... Please stop. Oh wow, I just got it. See, it was just enough explaining. It wants us to come in. Looks like it. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. So there's no Guardian Seraph here either. Looks like it. I don't want to assume that the entire world is like this, but... I think there are quite a lot of Seraphim who are less than fond of humans. Can it really be that hard for humans and Seraphim to coexist peacefully again? Do you really think that could happen? Must be nice living in a fantasy world. It isn't necessarily just a fantasy. But look at the reality. I understand that it may be difficult to achieve, sure. But in reality, there was a time like that in the past. There are records in the ruins and in the Celestial Record. 
When is this past you're referring to? Long, long ago. But even now, there are Seraphim like you, Edna. Huh? And we figured out that we could bring back the blessing as well. Yep. I think this is a step towards coexistence with the Seraphim and humans. I'll be counting on you, Edna. Selfish as ever. That's why I can't stand humans. Get used to it. Selfish types everywhere. Jeez. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Such important cultural artifacts. This is awful. We can't forgive this. Yes, we should do this. <laughs> is that really a scorpion? It's so large. But that makes it easier to hit, right? Right! My will shall pierce thee just like this spear. Is it the same one we saw in the ruins? This one could be much stronger. You've really seen Helgens like this in that ruin? Huh? I'm fine. Let's go on ahead. Capabilities as a shepherd. Sinister writings. It looks like they were scrawled in blood. <laughs> Looking for a fight? Ready? It's over! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This isn't over! What's that? I better get it. Come on, pack up! Come on! Look out, Nick! Nick Leo! How's this? Ready? Oh, oh, hold on, everyone! Oh, 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 this is over! Right, Leo! Ah. I'm I'm I can jump really Rising fast! Right. Hold on, everyone! Go. Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. I must try hard. What a formidable opponent! Some of us are low on health. So Hellions. Ready? How's this? How's this? How's this? Ready? I'm gonna have that fight. This is it over! This is it over! Such is what I expect of the You ready, Saray? Ready? Ready? Sweet dreams! Sweet dreams! Sweet dreams! Ready? How's this? The ruins are calling me! Is that a monolith? Ready? Strike! Come on! Time to learn some humility! Yeah! 
Ready? Well, that was actually pretty decent. Must have been, if you're complimenting me. Please, Edna! How are you? Ready? No escape! Strike! It's over! It's over! It's over! It's over! Let us relish this victory and sally forth. you it radiates such dignity you can tell from his expression that he must have been a great warrior a fine man I would like to see his entire body oh but but wouldn't he be more or less naked that's what makes him attractive in an aesthetic sense w well it's true that the perfectly toned body of a warrior may be aesthetically pleasing but Alicia unladylike no, I only meant it as a generalization. I really have no personal interest in that sort of thing. Not at all, huh? I, I mean, not much. Just enough. The a normal amount. Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Though it's true that King Claudin epitomizes the warrior ideal. Hold on, this is King Meliodas, right? Not King Claudin. What? But then it wouldn't match with the style at all. Yes, because this bust was carved as a speculation on the style of future generations. I think your interpretation is a bit far-fetched. Well, I think you're trapped in stereotypical views. All right. Look, let's drop our preconceptions and start over then. Can we identify the subject? What features stand out? Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Seriously. Pushovers either. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one.
I suppose this hellion must be the source. Lucky for you, it isn't a ghost, Mikio. I told you it's not like that. Save it for later. Was. I should have realized you would be here, attack. Oh my goodness! It's pretty Lady Lila. How you been? Oh, you never were a lick of fun. Is this a friend of yours? Sort of. It was a long time ago. My name's Attack. Jeez, to please ya! That's a weird name. Well, aren't you rude? Don't you know that attack is a Norman name of the highest pedigree? Means I'm fancy. It looks sort of like the thing attached to Edna's umbrella. Let's save talk of Edna's thingy for later, shall we? That one's a particularly long story. It is it? Is? Hey, Lila, what's a Norman? They're a special kind of seraphim. They aren't quite as powerful as a lord of the land, but they can still be a help to other seraphim. 
How? Well, they have the ability to boost another Seraph's power. They're kind of like a maid of sorts. That's my Lila! You know me like the back of your lily white hand. Like a maid? I'm afraid I'm not so sure I get it. Lila's explanations can be pretty off the cuff. <laughs> Silly Billies like you could never understand what Lila and I mean to each other. Not sure I want to understand. Well, anyways, y'all are Lila's friends and all. Maybe I can treat you to some grub. Let's restore our health. Nicholas, Sunlight Girl, Jean-Luc's Bloomer. This is a massacre! Who could have done such a thing? Uh, well... You did. You turned into a Hallion. I remember. It was me. I went out of my head, tore my beloved treasures apart, and... and... 